Hello everyone, it is Matthew. Welcome back to a brand new video. And today, I'm here with the first video from the Madison Regatta. Today, I'm gonna be driving up to Madison, Indiana. If you guys have followed the channel, you probably know that um, every year we do this trip where we go and camp alongside the Ohio River in Madison, Indiana. And uh, today, we are gonna be going up there for the first day. Now, this year, we're only going up four days, or at least I'm only going four days. All my family and friends that go are already up there. But today is the first day. It's early in the morning right now, and I'm gonna be vlogging throughout my whole entire day and every day throughout this whole entire trip. Um, Madison, Indiana is a really cool town and during this whole entire week they have stuff going on and obviously in the final few days of the weekend they have the H1 Unlimited boat racing so it's going to be a very fun week and this is going to be a very fun day. Like I said it's early in the morning right now but uh, Madison Regatta vlog number one uh, for this vacation. Uh, here we go. Before we get started though Make sure to leave a like and make sure you guys subscribe. As you see, it is very early in the morning at 2.46 and we are about to head off. Daisy, I will miss you while I'm gone. Uh, have a very fun time in the next few days. So I'm now in the car and it's time to head off for Madison, Indiana. Everyone, we have been driving for a while. Look at the smokestacks in the smoke or fog or whatever. There's the Madison sign. And we are officially in the historic town of Madison, Indiana. It's currently 620. I know that says 520, but uh, Madison's in Eastern time and that's Central time. There is the Ohio River. Look at the river. You can't even see across it because of the fog. Okay, so it's a little bit later. It's actually now uh, 12 o'clock exactly. Um, uh, right when I got to the campsite, uh, I took a nap because I'm running on one hour sleep or was running on one hour sleep. So I took like a five hour nap, basically just went to sleep and now um, we're gonna go do some stuff. I'm in the camper right now. Also, while I was asleep, apparently a huge windstorm hit and like stuff all around the campsites and stuff were like blowing away. Now, I don't think we had like storms. I think it was just really like heavy, heavy winds and stuff. But my hometown, which is like three hours away, uh, I just got notifications when I woke up like 30 minutes ago. I guess they got hit by some really bad storms this morning. Also, by the way, make sure to get your merchandise. You can get hats, uh, t-shirts, uh, tank tops, and who knows, maybe in the future, shorts coming out soon. Now this is my first time walking down the road and there's a boat here. One of the GPs is here, uh, GP88, the hydrofish boat. Uh, obviously, just like in Gunnersville, there's three classes of hydroplanes. Obviously the main H1s will be here and then also the two smaller classes with the Grand Prix, as you see one right there in the pro lights. Now, if you remember last year, uh, during the vlogs here, the swimming pool here was shut down, and it is still shut down, but they're, like, completely redoing it. Originally, last year, I think they said they were gonna try to, like, just fix up the original one, but now they've, like, torn the whole thing out and are redoing it completely. Today we'll be just going through the town doing stuff. We'll probably hike up uh, the Clifty Fall Mountains and stuff. Uh, just do stuff uh, around the town today. Uh, oh my gosh. The wind sure caused that to go crazy. There was a runaway barrel but it stopped. So now it's going the other way. As you see though, they have the cranes set up right now. Uh, they'll probably put the boats in either late tonight, uh, probably late tonight. We're now gonna be walking into uh, the actual town of Madison. We're probably gonna walk down Main Street, uh, maybe find somewhere to eat at. They don't have the boat with them. They just have the trailer for the GP35 and a loaded baked potato bus. What? If you don't know, Madison is literally like an old timey like town and stuff. We're gonna be walking all through the Main Street and stuff, maybe going to a few shops. Okay, so we actually just ate at Hinkle's back there. We're now actually walking back this way 
towards the Madison Boat Shop, uh, we may see the U1 and the U91. As I said uh, earlier, the U91 was uh, get, trying to get ready for this event, but they realized yesterday it wasn't going to happen in time for this week's race and stuff. Obviously, they flipped last week. So there is the boat. It doesn't even look too bad damaged. Obviously, the engine and the cowling and stuff's all, off of it, but... Crazy thing, all this stuff happened when the 40 actually hit the boat. So there was really no damage at all from the actual flip. There's the trailer for the U1. Look at all the national championships. 14, 15, 16, 17, 19, 21, 22, and 2020 there wasn't even a season. The only one missing is 2018. And there is the U1 in the shop. Oh, come on, lighting. So we've just been walking up and down Main Street going in a few shops. We're gonna go in this one right now and look around. What is this? What, I'm, up, I'm upside down. Wait, no I'm not. There's. My shoes are right set up there. They're upside down. Wait, what on earth? What am I looking at? We have a flying bear. They have like a 4th of July like walkway light thing. The fountains over here. We're along Main Street and Broadway right now. Look at the work they're doing on the pool. It's unrecognizable. There's no slide, no nothing there. We're on the back side of the U40 right now. They're getting ready to take it to the pit. But you can see the damage, or where they did the repairs on the damage from when it uh, ran over the 91. More hydroplanes are entering the pit. We got the GP17 and then the U1 down there. There is the U1 up close and now the defending champion has just pulled in Corey peabody and the u9 is here now that is a completely rebuilt boat basically because last year um that boat right over there uh flipped there's j michael kelly's beacon electric u8 for anyone who's watching that's a fan of the channel and stuff but doesn't know too much about boat racing and stuff watching these videos, uh, here's a bottom of one of these hydroplane boats. You can't tell on camera, these boats are 30 feet long. They are huge. They are preparing the stage for the concerts. I don't know if they have one tonight or if it's all tomorrow and Saturday, but they're at least getting it set up for something. We've made it back down to the campsite. There was just some like sirens going off, but it wasn't storm sirens because even though our hometown's getting hit by huge storms and they may clip here in Madison, uh, there's no storms for at least another hour and a half, uh, but there was some siren going off, like a doomsday siren or something. But I said the storms were a good like hour and a half away, but I may have lied or been incorrect. I think I've t I'm turning into a weather person being incorrect about the weather because apparently they're almost here. I feel like we have not done too much crazy stuff today for this video. We've just been uh, walking around, vlogging and stuff. Uh, we were gonna cross the bridge, but with the weather coming in, I don't know if we're gonna do that. And I don't know if we'll have time by the time uh, the storms are done. Uh, well, I guess we will have a lot of craziness in this video when the storms get here. Look at all the white caps on the river. That looks funny almost. It's here, it's here. Oh, I, I just missed that lightning strike. Oh my gosh. It's get in the camper. Get in the camper. Winds are 5,000 miles per hour. So it's now like two hours later, even more. I think it's like 7.30 at night right now. Uh, the storms have rolled through and they are done. Now since they're on Eastern time here in Madison, it literally does not get dark till like 9.30 at night. I think they got all the pits set up. The only boat I'm not sure if that's in there is the 11. Look at the sunset. That is crazy. Now wait, let's look at this sunset. Oh my gosh. Okay, so we're back in the camper. Uh, it's uh, 
past midnight, I'm pretty sure right now, and uh, we've just been hanging around the campsite, and I think I'm going to go ahead and go to sleep. Everybody's starting to go to sleep. If we do anything else, I'll make sure to film it, but uh, that's probably going to be a wraps for the video. So thank you all for watching. This was just a chill vlog here from day one of the Madison Regatta. Hopefully you all enjoyed. Uh, the next few days is going to be action-packed here. Uh, make sure to leave a like on the video, make sure to comment on the video, and make sure you guys subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed and uh thank you all for watching until next video see ya say that it feels right